Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. It's been so busy around here, I haven't had a chance to look outside at all, but uh, I do see it's 86 degrees, so not too shabby. It's pretty warm, but it's also very muggy outside. Yeah. And there's been some sunshine, it's kind of been a battle between the clouds and sun, but it's, you know, it's fairly bright out there. Let's take a look at what's going on on our live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. There's no showers or thunder out there, so I turn on the clouds, and you can see how the clouds have been hanging tough along the uh, south coast, and especially over southeastern Massachusetts. We're going to be uh, seeing those clouds slowly disappear and we'll be seeing more and more sun along the south coast and southeastern Mass. We're looking on off to the south and east from downtown Providence. You can see some of that cloudiness out there. 84 degrees with a wind from the south-southeast at around 8 miles an hour. Dew point temperature ultra high at 70 two degrees right now. It doesn't get too much uh, higher than that around here in the summertime. Temperatures in Smithfield and Providence, Westerly and Newport and uh, New Bedford in the low to mid 80s. Satellite radar picture showing the cloudiness and the showers and thunderstorms from uh, last night heading away. Just some lingering cloudiness, a lot of high clouds overhead right now. We're going to be seeing the, the high cloudiness uh, tend to thin out as well. We're going to be seeing a good amount of sunshine this afternoon, but we do have a cold front that's uh, hanging around. It's actually going to be stalling out this afternoon, especially out across southeastern Massachusetts and the south coast of Rhode Island. We run the risk of an isolated thunderstorm, meaning we're just going to have one little random uh, th uh, uh, thunderstorm cell roaming across the area and mainly across southeastern Massachusetts in the more humid air to the north and west of the front. It's a little bit less humid and we're going to be seeing the less humid air arrive later on in the night tonight as that cold front finally begins to push offshore. Wednesday, tomorrow looking A-OK. -okay. Just a lot of high cloudiness coming on in throughout the daytime uh, tomorrow. Notice the showers and thunder off to our south. That's Wednesday night and Thursday morning rain that'll be working into our area. Let's take a look at it with our live Pinpoint Doppler 12 neighborhood future cast. Looking at quiet weather this evening, some clouds passing on through from time to time. Here we are at 8 o'clock on Wednesday morning with some sunshine. Notice the high cloudiness coming on through, but we'll be staying dry. No green blob showing up on the uh, neighborhood future cast. So we're looking dry through the, uh, well, mostly dry through the daytime today and into the daytime tomorrow. Just an isolated thunderstorm possible. 88 in Central Falls, 88 degrees in Rome. 89 degrees over there in Pawtucket during the afternoon and pretty humid as well. Very summery feel to the air today. 88 in Riverside, Warwick around 88 with a chance of a shower or a thunderstorm. Very isolated temperatures in Newport on over to Charlestown and Ashaway in the low to mid 80s with ultra high humidity down there. Up in northern Rhode Island, pretty warm if not hot in Pasco and Slatersville and Hope up around 87, 88 degrees. We run the risk of an isolated shower or thunderstorm, especially out here across southeastern Massachusetts during the afternoon. Dighton, Westport, New Bedford topping out around 83. Bristol 86, Middletown should be topping out at around 83 degrees. Now this evening, looking at mainly sunny skies, it'll be dry. There's a chance for an isolated thunderstorm again to the south and east of Massachusetts, south and east of Providence, rather, especially over in southeastern Mass. Temperatures will be falling through the 80s and into the 70s during the course of the evening. Now after midnight, Mainly clear skies with the humidity levels continuing to drop. Overnight low temperatures will be between 65 and 70. Seven day future cast dry during the daylight hours tomorrow, but we're looking at the chance for some showers Wednesday night into Thursday morning, and then clearing out. Friday looks good, Saturday looks good. Some showers and thunder develop Sunday uh, late afternoon and continues into Monday morning. So we are looking at some decent weather throughout the rest of the daytime today, just pretty warm and humid. Mm. All right, TJ, thanks.